Hi, this is example number two of section 16.1. So we here have a disc that is rotating, right, around point O. Let me call this point O. So we have a fixed center of rotation, having information about the initial angular velocity and the function of angular acceleration respect to time. We like to find the velocity and the acceleration of point A for two seconds. So the solution of this problem, the first thing that we want to do is find the angular velocity respect to time because as we see we have the only the initial angular velocity and the angular acceleration respect to time. So we know that the angular acceleration is the derivative of the angular velocity, right? So if we have the angular acceleration as a function of time, dt is equal to the omega. And we can integrate both sides of the equation from 0 to 2 and from omega 0 to the omega that we want to find, right? The final for 2 seconds. So when we integrate this equation, we got 3 q plus 12t between 0 and 2, and is equals to angular velocity at 2 seconds minus angular velocity, initial angular velocity. So this 3 goes with that 3, and then we have here that that's 8 cube plus 12, 2 equals 2, and then 0 omega minus 12. So from here we have that omega is equals to, oh sorry, 8 plus 24 plus 12. Omega is equals to 44 radians over sec. For time equals 2 seconds. Okay, so we were able to find the angular velocity. So as you know, if this system is rotating in that direction, we can say that the velocity of A would be equals to angular velocity times the distance, which is 0 0.5. So the velocity is very easy. The velocity of A will be omega times distance from O to A, which is equals then to 44 times r, which is 0 0.5. Then the velocity of A is equals to 22 meters over second. How about the acceleration? The acceleration in A, since we have a curvilinear motion, we have tangential acceleration and normal acceleration. So if we draw our acceleration will be tangent acceleration and normal acceleration. So the, the acceleration has two components, and that will be tangent acceleration. In this case, let's draw our coordinate system. Oh, actually, we can use our coordinate system will be that one that we just said in the tangential direction plus a uh, in normal in normal direction. So that will be the tangential acceleration. You remember that is just the derivative of the velocity. So it will be alpha times the distance in tangential direction plus normal acceleration. You know that is the velocity of a square over the radius of curvature, right? Is equals to, let me rewrite that here, will be angular velocity times the radius between OA square and the radius of curvature is the radius o, OA. So one of them goes with the other one. So at the end, we have that this is equals to, in tangential direction, plus omega square in the normal direction. So finally, we will say that the acceleration of A will be equals to did we, we have not evaluated alpha for two seconds. Let me do that first. Three 
3 to 2 squared plus 12, and that's equals to 24 radians over second square. Then the acceleration in A will be 24 times 0 0.5 in the tangent direction. The angular velocity is 44 square times 0 0.5 in the normal direction. So here we have that the acceleration is equal to 12 in the tangent direction plus 9, 6, 8 in the normal direction. The units for that acceleration will be meters over second square. So this is the acceleration. If we want to relate that to a inertial coordinate system, which we can also write it right here, that will be in x and y coordinate system. I mean, I can write it like that, or I can write it in another system. The one you choose, it will be negative 9, 6, 8 in i, negative 12.0 in j meters per second. So this is another way to look at the same vector expressed in another coordinate system. So this is the solution of this problem.